Yo, 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 soup squad. It's your boy Nimbo Soup again. You ever find yourself struggling in War Thunder? Maybe you're new to the game, trying to figure things out for yourself, and level 100s keep clapping your cheeks. Or maybe you've played for a while, and for whatever reason, you just can't help getting bent over and absolutely Perhaps you enjoy the game itself and being able to manipulate the controls of different military vehicles, but you can't seem to get the mechanics down when it comes to PvP. Regardless, we're all here for one reason, and for one reason only. To get good, bro. This game just simply is not as much fun as it could be when you're getting clapped. Well, luckily for you, Father Soup is here to save you. And don't worry, this guide will be for both ground and air. Sorry Naval, never really play you, who does? To start, I'm gonna lay some framework here. The way I see it, there's a couple of different ways that you can play this game. Obviously it's up to you to choose what you want to play, and more importantly, how you want to play it. But remember, if your goal is to have fun, as it should be, honestly I don't know why you would play this video game or any other video game otherwise, you're gonna have to choose a play style accordingly because it will impact how much you enjoy the game. So. Let's get into it. Number one, you could be a casual player. By the way, nothing in this video is meant to disparage anyone. I really couldn't care less how you enjoy this game, just that you do enjoy it, because remember, enjoying the game is the goal that we all strive for, right? Anyways, continuing on, casual players don't really care about anything. Maybe they're super into military history, and they like to use the vehicle models for footage for their projects, or they just enjoy going into arcade and goofing off with some friends. Point here is, they don't really care if they win, lose, get kills, get wrecked, whatever. They're just there to have fun. If that's you, freaking respect. Moving on, you could be slightly more competitive about it. Never forget, the main goal is to have fun above all else. but. Doing well in matches is the preferred way for me and for others with this playstyle of doing that. Personally, getting an ace match or dropping a nuke is much more fun than having no impact on the match. <coughs> yes, still have yet to drop a nuke, thank you for asking. Let's just call this playstyle fun through maximum damage. But still, there exists another level to this. I'm not going to be the person that starts crying too much if I mess my KD up while I'm being super aggressive trying to get a lot of kills. People that do, those are the sweats. The sweats are players that will play extremely passively every single match, only taking engagements that they have significant advantages in and that they know they'll come out on top from. But I repeat, nothing in this video is meant disparagingly, but if this is you, I am sorry to say that you are a sweat. It's important to know which playstyle is going to best suit you. If you're a casual, you probably aren't even watching this because you don't care about being good. So if you play like me or you're trying to be more sweaty, this guide is geared toward you guys. Let's learn how to <laughs> become a sweat. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? I touched briefly on it while we were laying the framework for this. Your playstyle will impact how well you do in each match. I'm going to go over both how to play more sweaty for higher KD purposes and how to maximize kills trying to play more aggressively for you guys. To get the most kills, you want to play as aggressive as you can within your skill limits of course, but that being said, not recklessly. You still want to climb. You still want to build your energy advantage as much as you can at the start of the match, but don't spend the whole match side climbing. The goal is to hover over or around the fur ball and to pick off targets as you descend down into it, of course with higher energy targets generally being a higher priority. The better at the game that you are, the more aggressive you can play with thinner margins for error. If you're in ground, get into a good spot as early as you can without making yourself a target, being the important part there. Do not be the first person on your team to contact the enemy, ever. 
If you're the first person to get spotted, the enemies are going to see you on their mini-map and be drawn to you like moths to a freaking flame. Don't recommend it. But also, don't be the last person to get contact. You still want to have opportunities to get kills if you can. Get into a flank, or wherever you want to go depending on your vehicle, preferably in concealment of course, and take opportune shots. If you have an opportunity, always take it. Don't be afraid to get spotted. Just move positions afterwards if you think someone spotted you. Obviously don't push out right into someone's gun sight, but you get my point here. It's way more important to capitalize on any opportunities you have for a good shot than it is to stay hidden from the enemies, just because you can always change positions. So again, as long as you're not pushing right out into somebody and you can get the shot off first and guarantee the kill, always take the shot and move positions if you get spotted. Hopefully by now you guys are getting the general direction I'm going with things here. To maximize kills, the idea for both ground and air battles is you want to be far enough away from the main battle so that you're not a target yourself, but close enough to be able to pick off any enemies that make themselves a good target. It's easier said than done, but you are going to get the hang of it after a while. Moving on, if you're trying to be a sweat and maintain the best KDs possible, your goal is going to be to play extremely passively. If you're good enough, you could be slightly aggressive and never die, but if that's you, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. That's alright. If you're playing air, climb to the side enough to guarantee that you have the energy advantage on every single enemy. Once you're above, it's as easy as having good target selection to carry the entire match if it's necessary, or your teammates will clean up all the enemies before you can do a single thing in the match, and you won't die and therefore your KD will be maintained, and you can brag to your friends I guess, I don't know. Again, I'm making it sound way easier than it actually is for comedic effect. You do still need to be good enough to conserve your energy, and therefore your energy advantage, which can be tricky, but you'll get better at it with time. If you're playing ground, you basically just want to bait your teammates from pretty far behind the front lines. That one is relatively straightforward. You just gotta be careful of super fast flanking light tanks. Those things are super annoying. Don't go anywhere that you don't have teammates. And try to stay far enough back from them that you won't be spotted if they get spotted. That way you can just pick off anyone that picks off your teammates. I don't condone this. Your teammates are probably gonna hate you but it is a guide to being sweaty and people generally don't like sweats. And again, over time you'll get better at these things and eventually you'll be good enough to play more aggressively while still preserving that sweet, sweet kill death ratio of yours. Freaking sweat. As a whole, practice makes perfect. No matter which playstyle you choose, it's true that as you get better you can play things more and more aggressively without being punished as often. Ayo. So if your goal is to keep improving at the game, try to keep playing it as much as possible, of course without burning yourself out. Keep in mind the advice I gave you as far as gameplay goes, and try to apply it in your own games. As a newer player I found that if I focused more on surviving instead of getting kills, not trying to encourage you to be super passive here, but it's true that it's probably better to be passive. I would tend to stay alive longer, get more rewards out of each match, and even get more wins, whether my teammates sweep up the enemies immediately and I do nothing, or I have to carry. If you find yourself in a carry situation, you would be better set up following this video's advice than you would be if you were playing things aggressively the whole match. As you get more experience, you'll find yourself a nice balance of aggression to passiveness in your gameplay that suits your own skill level. Not everyone is going to be cracked at the game, and that's alright, it's just important to remember to manage your expectations. And hey, this is not at all the end-all be-all video game. I'm not going to advocate not liking it, since I love it and it's been a huge part of my life. At the same time, everyone has their own thing. It's not a bad idea to consider that if after many hours of gameplay you're still struggling immensely and you're not having any fun, you might want to switch things up. 
After all, I'm fairly certain that we're all on the same page about this being a game for absolute masochists. And for that, we love it. Not really, that's just for dramatic effect. The meaningful advice for newbies is over. From here on out, I'm just going to be talking to you guys about how we can keep the game enjoyable for everyone else other than ourselves. I'll keep it quick since this is more for experienced players anyways, and it's pretty straightforward information, but I feel like it needs to be said. Try not to be that level 100 that's constantly playing in rank 1 games, or the dude with 10,000 kills and a 15 KD in the BI. Everything is acceptable in moderation. Hell, the Ariete is one of my favorite jets. That thing is freaking cracked. The argument can be made that it has to face F-104s and missiles and blah blah. Alright, that's getting off track. Anyways, try to keep things enjoyable for everyone. Obviously, prioritize your own fun. That's the most important. But don't be that level 100 that's constantly playing reserve tier, seal clubbing brand new players, just completely turning them off of the game. It's not very cool. Of course, it's a lot of fun getting 20 kills every game, but don't do it constantly, please. Alright gamers, that's going to be all for this guide. It's time for you to go out there in the real world of War Thunder and apply these tactics for yourself. Please let me know down below in the comments how they work out for you. And if you enjoyed, or if I helped you out, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. It would mean a ton to your boy. And don't forget to turn on those post notifications as well. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next one. You all know the deal. This is Nimbo Soup. Nimbo signing out. Peace out, fellas.